It happened, didn't it? Yes, yes, it happened. It truly, truly happened, Lacey. <laughs> you're thinking captain what the hell are you doing francesca ramsey anita sarkeesian now lacy fucking green what the hell do you hate us and you no know, i don't hate you keep in mind that i am subjecting myself to this as well and as they say misery loves company and i love all of you that being said, I kind of do feel like I've avoided doing videos on these kinds of people for far too long. And since the salt mine is open, I'm grabbing the biggest nuggets first. Don't worry, I do still have the good stuff in the back. Yes, I have the smaller, juicier nuggets. A couple of them just waiting, and I'm sure we can find plenty of more. But let's just go ahead and get these out of the way, so without further ado, behold Lacey Green! It's not... A nightmare that I'm in. It really happened. I have some feels to get off of my chest. I need to put it somewhere. There's, th th there's no avoiding it. There's a boob joke in here somewhere, but I'm not gonna make it. You know, her needing to get all these feels out there and find space for one. She, she kind of got clearly got plenty enough room, but I'm not gonna make that joke. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be mature. <laughs> um. So if you're all electioned out, which I totally understand, just a heads up. You can bounce, my sweet sex posse babes. No, 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 don't, don't say that, don't say that ever again. Don't do it, do, do no, no, no. The Trumpocalypse has arrived. You all know me well enough. I value equality. I think it's so important, inclusion, human dignity. That's right, everyone. We know Lacey. We know her. We know that she stands for equality. She stands for inclusion and especially human dignity. Uh, unless, of course, you happen to be white men, in which case, kindly fuck off, relinquish all the qualities that you have, your inclusion, fuck the hell out of here, and you don't get any human dignity. Um, avoiding World War III. <laughs> Those things matter to me. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I feel you. I feel you, Lazy. It's going to be the Trumpocalypse. This orange Hitler is going to just start dropping nukes. It's, it, it's all over. Orange Hitler. World War Three. We fucked up. We got Cheeto Hitler in office and it's going to be war. That's, that's what they should have went with. Trump, the Cheeto president. Dangerously cheesy. And that's why last night was terrifying. I am so sad and I am so angry. And I know that for many of you, your spirit has been crushed by this whole thing just as much as mine has. So there I was, there I was waiting for Hillary, Hillary to come out on stage. And that's, that's what had happened. That's what had happened. They announced fucking Gino Hitler, the president. I was terrified. I was sad. I was angry. And my spirit was crushed. Woe is me. Truly, truly, humanity hath wrought a great evil and disparity upon us. So it's not really clear what exactly the future holds for us yet. I tell you what, everyone. I, I, don't, I don't know what the future holds. I don't. But one thing is certain, it is going to be racist, homophobic, xenophobic, and misogynistic. Yes, yes, my friends. And if we know anything at all that we don't know, it is that the future will be sexist. But if we go by the election cycle, things do look bleak. Millions of us, myself included, could lose our health insurance. There could be serious cuts to scientific research, to climate change and clean energy efforts, to government programs for our sick and our poor. Finally, here we go. Here is a silver lining to this video. An actual concern, a concern that I have heard from many, many other people. Is Trump, is he just anti-science? Is he gonna hurt the sciences and shit? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't think so. There is, there's none of his policies that he has stated that he is going to be anti-science about. Surely the man himself, he, 
fucking crazy. He doesn't believe in vaccines. They give you autisms and shit. Now that is just, that's nuts. He's cra He is crazy and he's wrong in that part, okay? But I do not think that he is going to take anything away from science. I, I believe he's going to have his hands full dealing with everything else. The wall, all the other shit that he's claimed. I believe he's going to have his hands full doing all that shit to bother meddling in science. Certainly he will not, I don't think he's going to be pro-science, but I don't think he's going to be anti-science. So yes, it is a valid concern. So everyone should keep on their toes and be prepared to defend the science field if it comes to that. But again, I don't think that it will. Everyone should keep in mind that this man was elected president, not lord and god of all he surveys. To education, Planned Parenthood will be target number one. My LGBT family now lives under a vice president who literally believes in electrocuting the gay out of children. <laughs> You gotta admit that's fucked up. I'll also electrocute the gay out of all, of all the statements I've heard. That's gotta be the fucking worst. Electrocute the gay out of that boy. Oh my god. Okay, honestly, I believe that that man was chosen to ensure that Trump does not get assassinated. Because, yeah, you might think Trump is bad, but you don't want to fucking deal with the vice president. Yeah, nobody's going to want Trump to, everybody's going to protect Trump so that motherfucker doesn't get in office. That, that was a brilliant move to ensure that he gets to stay president and nobody kills him. President Trump openly admits to sexual assault and is on trial for child rape. Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. The he is proudly endorsed by the KKK, North Korea, Putin. For real, are we in the upside down right now? Like, oh my god, you're not gonna believe what I heard. The KKK, North Korea, and even like Putin. Like, they endorse Trump, and, and, and that makes Trump a bad person. Like, oh my god. Let's, like, 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 we should shame this man because some people like him and those people happen to be bad. Like, oh my god. Because that's what it feels like. How the fuck did this happen? First and foremost, because we let it happen. And that's like the hard part to swallow. But also, from where I'm sitting, our political establishment failed us. Lies and corruption in Washington warmed people to a candidate that is completely unqualified and has no experience. No, you see what failed you was the mainstream media, their lies and corruption, them jerking off Hillary Clinton just as hard and as fast as they could go, and that's why you didn't see this coming. They were shooting them poles right in your face you were blinded. You thought, oh my god, my Hillary is going to win. And if you all had to focus a little bit less on spanking Trump for being a white, racist, sexist, xenophobic male, you might have seen it coming. You might have been able to do something about it. Maybe we wouldn't have even had Hillary and Trump elected. Maybe we could have had a better candidate all around. But you didn't. And, uh... It occurs to me that maybe you don't actually know what the qualifications are for running and becoming president. I, t I tell you what, you Google it and let that blow your mind. And even more overtly, people say that racism and sexism are over. No, <laughs> they're not over. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lacey Green and her fucking strong. Who the hell says that we've ended sexism or racism? What dumbass thinks that we can even do such a thing? Believe it or not, Lacey, and I know, I know, it was your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations ever since you are a weird lass. But you cannot actually, and you will never be able to, police people's thoughts. No, you can't do it. And if you think that you can end the sexism and racism, there's, there's something wrong with your head. They are very much a part of our social fabric. Trump saw that. He saw the undercurrent of misogyny and racism, and he rode that wave to electoral college victory. Oh, well, Lacey, you can say that he rode the wave of sexism and racism all the way to the White House. <laughs> but not quite the way you think he did. Yeah, it was all the bullshit, all the politically correct social justice idiocy that you guys kept on throwing around, and a lot of people said, a lot of people looked at this man and said, wow, wow, he's not going to take that bullshit. He's not going to bend the knee by being called racist and sexist, and I believe that won him quite a few votes, so <laughs> blame yourself. Without a doubt, Trump gave a voice to unspeakable darkness.
There you go, Lazy. There you go, everyone. That's going to solve the problem. Let's double down on our bullshit that helped get this man elected. But you know what? We don't have to listen to it. If you, my dear internet friends, somewhere out there in the world are hurting today, I have four reminders for you. It's okay to feel angry or sad or confused. Your feelings are valid. Yes, my people, yes. All of those feelings that you have deep down inside, they are valid. So valid <laughs> to yourself. Nobody else is actually obligated to give a fuck though. Two, you are loved, you matter, and your rights will be defended. That is a personal promise. Well, fuck me, Lacey. I agree with all I agree with you so much on this one point. Everyone out there, everyone listening, your rights will be defended. There are tons, tons of people out there, including myself, that are willing to die defending the freedoms and rights that we have. You will not lose them. That's not something that you have to worry about. Three, remember that if it were up to young people, last night would have been a landslide in the other direction. So don't lose hope. There's tremendous good in the people around you. Lacey, my dear Lacey, yes, if only, Lacey, we made it so the young people could vote, then Hillary would win. Ah. But, but Lacey, believe it or not, believe it or not, all lives matter. Yes, all votes matter, Lacey. Oh. <laughs> Fucking, you dumbasses are so oblivious. And four, once the shock of this all wears off, anger and resentment may set in. <laughs> like some people we know. Oh, oh, you, you want to play that game. Bitch, you don't want to play that game. I, I will throw down two to one and I will come out on top. But we can't do it that way. We gotta do it a different way. We have to use our anger to help each other. Whenever you're ready, and you have a right to take some time, but when you get there, get ready to be vocal, get ready to get involved, please be proactive. Yes, everyone. Once you get over the emotional turmoil that you're in, don't forget to grab your rattlers and your binkies and your blankies, and we'll go out and we'll do some stuff to protest. We'll fight back. Or, oh, oh, you know what, actually, let's just go ahead and start <laughs> set up a fucking petition. <laughs> yeah, this is real. You're all such little children. Let's throw a tantrum. Let, let's get the fiddles out. Let's riot. <laughs> let's get California to secede from the fucking union. Oh my god, come on. You know, look, please, just be real about it. You have the emotional capacity of an infant, and it, you're just brimming, you're overflowing, you don't know what to do when you don't get your way. Let us, let's just stamp and throw our feet and yell and cry and piss, whine and moan. And maybe if we do that enough, maybe if we do that enough, we'll just throw out the fucking president-elect and put in who we want. Because, because our feels. Yes, that's right, everyone. If only we feel enough, the power of the feels will change reality. We will, get, we will get our way. We can override the rule of law and the system if only we feel enough. Ugh. Oh my God, go on, hey, guys. I, if if you're one of these dumbasses out there protesting, I want you to do this. Reach, reach way back in the back of your mind. That little, that little part that's atrophied. Yes. That part that controls critical thinking. And here's it! You only have four years, and you're already fucking it up! You have four years to convince everyone that they do not need another four years of this man. If you continue pushing everyone, if you continue shaming everyone, if you continue acting like petulant little children, there will be eight years of this man that you hate so much, and you will only have yourselves to blame for it. Seriously, get your shit together. Well, everyone, I certainly do hope that you did enjoy the video, and until next time, remember, keep fighting stupidity wherever you may find it. Have a good one. Well, then get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit so it's together. And if you gotta take it somewhere, take it somewhere, you know? Take it to the shit store and sell it. Or, or put it in a shit museum. I don't care what you do. You just gotta get it together.
Get your shit together. <laughs>